Really quickly before we start this episode, just to let you guys know that the Epic wheel we've been using, the you know Ferrari Replica SF1000 wheel, uh, it's now available worldwide as of today. So if you guys want more info on it, check out that top link down in the description. But uh, here we go. What's up, guys? And welcome back to some more F1 2021. We we survived that last episode, dude. That that was insane. That was a lot of fun. You know, I, I think the wheel cam's really fun. I think we've got a little bit more work to do before we continue hopping into uh, to fully manual and, and turning off all the assists and stuff. But um, it was a good time. I'm glad we did it, and uh, we may end up doing some more chaotic episodes like that in the future. But for now, we've really got to buckle down. We here at Cooper Motors need to make sure that we're having the season that we set out to have, need to make sure we're staying focused for our sponsors and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Oop, oop, new oop, parts don't, are completed without issue. Don't, don't advance car, yet. Ready for the next race weekend. Okay, perfect. So we've got some parts that went through and worked. Love to hear that. Let's see what we've got going on here. I'm going to say let's definitely do some team building for 10K. I'm um, going to do some aero upgrades, supplier HQ tour, sponsor advertisement for the drivers, and then we've got three days left here. Should we work on our second driver or aero focus? I'm going to work on aero focus, be able to get us some more um, resource points there, and that's going to take us to our next Grand Prix weekend. I think we're going to save our money for now. We're going to buy some uh, extra fabrication for our aero in, uh, in the next episode. So that should be pretty good. Uh, R&D wise, let's see what we've got going on. So it looks like that was successful. Let's go ahead and start up a new arrow R&D. We're not going to be able to do two at the same time. So let's just chill on the second one. Looks like we can start working on this as well. So that's all we're going to be able to do for that for right now. Let me see what else we've got going on. The vehicle's looking pretty good. I mean, our uh, didn't they say our ICU or ICE was, was going through something last race? But I, I think we should be good for one or two more races. We need uh, three more levels of acclaim to get our second sponsor. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is currently where we're looking here. So uh, nothing nothing too crazy, but let's just go ahead and advance time here. We are going to move into our next race, the Austrian Grand Prix. Hey, the personnel team wants to run this one past you. An opportunity coming up to put some time with our ex-driver Lucas Weber on a consultancy basis. Be useful for our team and drivers to get some insights from someone with prior experience in F1. Should we go ahead? It's going to cost us $50,000 cash, but it's going to give us seven to our second driver race craft. Sure. The department wants me to pass on that. Thanks for helping out. All right. Seems like a pretty good trade-off for me. I mean, to be honest, we don't really plan on sticking with our second driver through this, you know, the end of this first season. But uh, if he can help us out for the next seven races, I'm, I'm down for it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the boys got for us today. Looks like we've got a race strategy, tire management, and quality pace practice setups. Okay, this is going to be good. I actually, I, I always love when we do the quality sims just to, to kind of get a feel for where we're at, how quick we are. So we're going to see what we can do here. Hopefully get some confidence back in the car. Obviously a little shaken up. We need a few solid laps here to help us calculate a good race strategy. A little shaken up from, uh, from our, our little escapade that we had last week but we're gonna get some confidence back in the car and see what we can do i always love australia man this is such a fast track it's so exciting it's it's just just crazy so all the 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 settings are all the same as what we had yesterday i just i turned uh i turned what's it called the the shifting back to automatic i i would i would love to be good enough man i really would and i think with with a lot of practice i could be but i just i, I think for the sake of the series at least at least for right now, at least for the first season and stuff, I feel like we should we should probably kind of kind of take it a bit easy. I'm gonna run through. I'm gonna do our practice sessions. I'll see you guys in our full quali. Let's see what we can do, man. I've, I've got a feeling we're gonna do pretty good here. Okay, I, I, I may have made I may have made a slight mistake. So I told you guys I didn't I didn't change anything apart from the fact that I I made it so that it was you know the 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 automatic. I forgot that we had lowered the difficulty a little bit, and we, we are way up there on the chart. So if I go into settings right now, I don't think it's going to let us change it. It would be under sim settings. We're on 70. So we're, we're on hard. It's supposed to be hard, but I, I think this might be our best quality and race ever. I, I, I did not intend for it to, to be this way, but we're, we're just going to see what happens. So as always, let's... Ooh, we got to be careful. 
It does look like we're going to have some rain in Q1, Q2, and Q3. We can see every 10 minutes or so. Oh, okay. So it's it's about, we're about to lose daylight. We're about to start having the clouds come in. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go out there. Let me, let, me just, let me just get on a flying lap real quick. We're going to put down a good time to start off, and then whatever happens, happens. Just want to make sure we make it through to Q2. Here we go, baby. We got this. Keep an eye on the horizon for those clouds. And we should be good to go. Looks like we've got a nice gap up here in front of us. Hopefully we're not going to have anybody coming out of the pits messing us up. Oop. Messed up my DRS a little bit there, but we're fine. Looks like, oh, ev everyone is coming to the pits. Okay, perfect. So your boy has a, uh, a clear playground to go out here and just get it done. Forgot that. That DRS right there, oops. First one, we double double clutched it, double pressed it. Second one, we were a little bit late, but we should we should be able to make it through there. Bit of a slow corner right there. Not going to be late on this DRS, that's for sure. We're going to be fine. Here we go, Trev. Nice long corner right there. I always love that thing, dude. Ooh, a little, little outside here, Trev, but that's okay. Stick with it. Get some power out of the outside. We're good to go. Went to press my overtake button right there, but... We're already in the highest engine mode. There's no need for that. A little around. Okay, this this was a sloppy lab, but I, I think it's going to hold. Last minute DRS right there. Bam. That's going to put us up at a P10. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and return back to the garage. Make sure we keep the car in chip shape, and uh, that's going to get us through to Q2. Things might get interesting, though. As we watch this here, I, I do believe we're going to see some rain coming into the picture. Looks like the clouds have dissipated a little bit. So that's good news for us, but P12. Okay. Daniel Ricciardo is going to take quickest. Not too bad. Mercedes following him. Red Bulls, Ferraris, McLarens, Aston Martins mixed in. Cooper Motors is way up there. Way, way up there, but we'll take it, baby. All right. So on to Q2. Let's, let's hopefully really put down a good time this time around. I'm going out first. We do have this this weather potential issue in front of us, so I'm I'm gonna go out first here, baby. Maybe not first first. I think a couple guys out got out in front of us, but we're gonna go out early is is what I'm trying to say. Gonna try to let off the gas a little bit, give us a little bit of space to the guy in front of us. I mean he's pretty far up there, honestly. Sometimes you'd rather have a toe than anything else, but we're we're gonna be okay. Not going to mess up any of our DRSs. Hopefully nobody's going to be coming out of the pits to mess us up. Looks like we're clear there. Let's be very fast here, Trev. Pretty good corner right there. Not ideal over the curbs. Got to got to be careful in this game. You can't really cheat it. Previous F1 games, you could really kind of ride the curbs. This one, not so much. That corner, I'm just not... I'm not hitting very hard today, but that's, that's fine. We're going to be okay. Coming around here, riding this line a lot better this time around. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Let's go, baby. Two last corners right here. Riding that wide, that's not going to hurt us too bad. Oh, that going wide there, Will. Okay. Let's see where that, that ends up putting us. That's going to put us in P2 for right now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go back to the garage and celebrate. Pop a couple bottles back there because there's no way that's that's ever gonna happen again. But let's just let's see what happens. I'm gonna keep an eye on the uh, the time sheet here. Gonna advance some time. We got a 105.446 that's standing over Bata so far. Let me see how's the weather looking. It looks like we are getting clouds coming in, but we're we're good to go. Three minutes left in quali. We're still sitting up there with a P2. Okay, Q2 went really well for us. We'll we'll. We'll take that. It's definitely be oh oh we've got the the softs on. Okay, maybe the track's still good to drive on. We probably want to want to get this done as quick as possible. Then my goodness, this seems a little bit aggressive, but I'm I'm good for it. Okay, here we go. Good thing we came out early, huh? The enters are are not gonna be as fast I would imagine, but we'll we'll see. Got to be careful. These are dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, we're. I can I can feel us sliding a bit. We've got DRS turned off. I don't know why we're coming out on the softs, but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't go sliding off the the stage here. What happened? Let me know you're okay. Yeah, I hope the boys can get this fixed before uh before the race tomorrow. I mean, was I wrong to assume 
that our boys would would put enters on our car. I maybe I had to had to go in and select that. When it's raining, I would assume race, they would. But before we begin, let's have a quick look at those put the enters on the grid. Hamilton, Bottas, and Charles Leclerc. When it's raining, I, I would have assumed they would have put put enters on the car. Um, okay. Right, so duly noted for, for future seasons. I guess I am the team owner and driver, so I've got to make all the decisions. I, uh, I just wasn't, wasn't prepared for that. So, um, you know, at least we're giving people something to talk about. Maybe we'll get some sort of an interview here. Our new sponsor, Zaynetto, gives us... Um, at least we got qualified Yuki there. That's, that's good. But Zaynetto gives us bonuses for answering questions throughout a race weekend so if we get a couple of interview questions no okay just gonna head on right to the race we're gonna be starting in p10 and we've we've got some work to do Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship, except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. I didn't know Penske anything, had a team at one point. The stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. We're the fighting Spielberg for those points, baby. Is situated 700 first time we've ever been the Level, with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of 2.6 miles, with the best overtaking chances into turn one or the tight uphill turn three. We should have a uh, a good setup here, fellas, with our, our car, the upgrades on it, the, the lower difficulty. Bit of a slow start there, but we're going to be okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting past here. I'm going to defend this inside as much as we can, and let's... Let's get into it. Okay, not definitely not allowed to pass people like that. Caution: the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. We've been informed that due to the increasing risks, they're moving from a virtual to a full safety car. Full safety car, huh? Okay. Catch the car cue. Do not exceed the delta pace. Do not pass the person in front of you, and do not pass go. We made a very aggressive move. Not gonna lie, we were kind of. A little bit too fast and a little bit too far inside, but just gonna have to let the stewards decide what they may. And oof, we almost ran into him right there. Let the stewards decide, and uh, whatever happens happens. If we get a penalty or whatever, we'll just have to have to deal with it. Bro, I feel like he keeps. I'm just not ready for him to slam on the brakes like he does. We've got signs going into the pits. Are we looking good? Trying to check out our car here, so our ICE is looking a, a little okay, bit worn. We're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Okay. Yeah, the ICE, the MGUK. Okay, I'm not paying attention to what's happening in front of me. We're good. Stay behind Vettel. I got that. MGUK, the TC. A lot of stuff could uh, could potentially be fixed up here. So. Got to keep in mind we do have the shortened season, uh, only ten races, so obviously. Let's catch up to the field a bit. We're dropping too far back. Remember that we need to stay within ten car lengths of the next car. Obviously, components are going to wear out a, a bit quicker. So we've got an interesting little lineup here. We're going really slow through the corners, and then we're like flooring it through the straights, and then going slow through the corners and stuff. But we're just going to go around a few circles here. Wait till the safety car's up, and we'll get back to racing. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in All this right. lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature. And remember, there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Sounds good to me. Here we go. Let's keep these tires warm. I've got my, my steering wheel here. I can see them, but I'm going to pull it up for you guys over, over here. That's where I actually... Oh, there we go. Temperatures. Okay. Let's try to try to really warm these things up. Obviously, our engine is is in a uh, a bit of a not so great spot with the MGUK and everything, but we're gonna have to have to work with it. Looks like we're starting to get these things warm. You guys can see the inside of them going from from blue to green. Okay, clear. Okay, little little bit late on the re restart there, Trev. Probably probably could have been in a, a better spot. Could have been a little bit more up Vettel's rear end. We're more worried about warming up the tires than what was actually important, but we're we're gonna be okay. Oh, all right, yep, we're getting we're getting passed by Yuki. Okay, this this is is not not the start we wanted, but we're gonna be fine. 
Not getting passed by Lance. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's not happening, baby. All right, here we go. Let's start using some of our battery power. I'm worried about our engine, dude. We had a couple call-outs in the last race. I didn't realize it was this dire, man. Okay, we have an issue with the control electronics box. That's going to do additional damage to all other power unit components. We're leading our teammate by 4.1 seconds. Bro, the entire car is falling apart well, underneath us. I'm... Window. You'll be on the mediums. I'm, I'm driving the, 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 the brakes off of it, man. I'm, I'm not stopping. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm literally driving this thing until the wheels fall off. I don't, I don't care what happens to it. I need DRS to be opened back up. Stroll keeps trying to pass us. That restart definitely didn't, didn't do us any help. We got to be smarter about that in the future. Get the tires up to temp, but really how close you are to the car behind you is, is ultimately what makes the most difference. But okay, we're starting to pull away from Stroll here. DRS is offline. The rear wing is down, so you can stay out while we work on a fix. Bro, what? The entire car is falling apart right now. I don't deserve this, man. Come on. All right, we're just, we're just going to have to wheel it. We might not have all the power that we would potentially prefer, but uh, we're, we're just going to have to wheel this thing. We're going to have to race aggressive. We're going to have to make use of it without it. Obviously, we are on a slightly easier difficulty. Maybe they're going to be able to get it fixed for us in the pits. I don't know how you really fix a broken, a broken DRS in the middle of a race, but... Hopefully, they're going to be able to do it for us. Come on, baby. Our ERS is draining faster than it ever has before this. Dude, we, had, we thought we had disaster in the last episode. We've, we've definitely got disaster here. This is not good. Look at Stroll with his DRS, man. I'm not going to be able to defend against that. Ooh. He's going to get us on this one, though. We're so screwed. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Everything on the car is broken. I was not expecting this. I, 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 there's nothing we can do now. There's nothing we can do about it. We had to fix the car up before this weekend. This, I mean, th this is just on me, I guess. We haven't done too many shortened seasons, so this, this is just a lot more aggressive than I was expecting. We did one last year towards the end of the series. I was, I was not expecting it to make this much of a difference. Our ERS isn't even charging. I haven't used our overtake mode at all, and we're we're still losing battery here. This is this is absolutely a disaster. Oh, oh! DRS is open. They fixed it. Okay, we're 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 good to go. We might actually be able to get something done here today. We might be able to salvage something. It's it's not gonna be all that pretty, but we might be able to get something done. We don't have any overtake button, but we're just gonna have to use DRS to DRS to DRS. Got him! And we're gonna have the DRS and he's not good. Bye! See ya! Let's go, dude! Holy cow. There is no way this is gonna end up working out for us. So they could... They could over the air update the car to get the DRS to work again? They had some sort of a workaround for that? I have no idea how that's even remotely possible, but I'm thankful they could. Shout out to the team back in the garage. That's going to put us up into a P8 potential point scoring position. We've got a weak motor. We don't have any overtake button, but we've got a dream. Marino is in the pits. Marino in the pits. All right, so our teammate's going to be pulling in the, the pits here. We're on lap 9 out of 18. We're going to be coming in as soon as he's done. Dude, the engine just doesn't, doesn't sound good at all. We got to make sure we're paying more attention to their callouts in the future. Ooh, do we have... Was that contact back there? It kind of looked like it. It looked like somebody spun out, but I don't think they did. We are in full chase down mode, trying to catch whoever we can in front of us. We've got Vettel and then Gasly. Oh, I guess we're in P7, huh? Oh, that's probably because Raikkonen went in the pits, though. Or somebody. No, don't get in the grass. You're good, Trev. So yeah, we're going to be coming in. This is our in lap. We really want to push here. We're going to get some new tires. Push on our out lap as well. And we're, we're about two seconds behind the guy in front of us. We really want to try to have as good of a pit stop as we can here. To reduce that even more. has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. 
virtual safety car is ending. That was close. Oh, our engine's on fire. BSC ending. Wait for green. We, we're, we're smoking. We're, we're... <laughs> what? What is happening, bro? We are smoking. I don't care. Burn it to the ground, baby. We ain't stopping. This is fantastic. What's what's going on? Let's take a look at the engine. It actually doesn't look too bad. 69%. We're going to fight our way back. So not everyone here has pitted yet. Eventually, they're going to have to. We should gain some positions back, but let's just try to gain them back on track as, as much as we can right now. We had the quickest sector two of the race right there. I'm going to use a little bit more DR or ERS here. Going to try to stick with these guys through the straight. Should get DRS. Come on, baby. There it is. I mean, if somebody's behind us, we're going to smoke them out, right? That should work out to our advantage. I'm going wide. Let's go. DRS overtake mode. Not going to leave him space to get over to the left. We should be able to get both of these guys around the outside. All right, we got more DRS. I'm going to use more overtake mode, and now these guys behind us can't see us. It's 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 a smoke screen, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What y'all don't know is we actually purposefully didn't didn't change the engine. It's not the case. We purposefully didn't change it so we could we could have a, a you know little distraction here today. I genuinely hope the motor makes it all the way through. If we make it all the way through, that's going to be a miracle. We might be able to catch Vettel here, bro. This has been such. A miraculous change of, of, of race and pace and everything here. All right, we got DRS. We got ERS. We don't have a ton of ERS left, dude. We're, I mean, we got Vettel here, and then the next three are all right next to each other. I feel so bad, bro. Nobody can see anything behind us. He's smart here. Let's go. Beautiful. Good little... Good little corner. I'm going to try to save some overtake mode in case we need it. I don't know why we would need it, but I, I just, you know, it's it's not really charging throughout the race. So I'm going to try to save, save what we can. We got five laps to go, fellas. Right up in there. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to use a little bit of overtake here. I don't think we're going to be able to pass him here, though. That might not have been our our best move. Let's just stick with them. We got a, a big group of fellas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around the inside here. And then try to get them on the outside. Try to pinch them. Come on, baby. Are we in there? Oh, we went extra wide there. Dang it. We had him. I, 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 should, I think I could have been a little bit more aggressive. I just wanted to make sure I didn't run into him was my biggest thing. We're going to be fine. We got him here, 100%. DRS overtake. Let's get him into turn one. Slipstream. The turbocharger is on his last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. Got him. See, you, you gotta you gotta be aggressive and take the corner when you're you're done with it. Oh my gosh, Seb's just getting a face full of smoke right now. I love it. We need the engine. We need the turbo. We need everything to hang on for just just three laps. Technically four, three and a half, I guess you could say. Woo! I almost thought about trying to go around signs right there. I might use a little five laps of fuel remaining. Little bit of overtake. Bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. I said I was gonna drive the wheels off the thing, and that's literally what happened. Our engine blew up. There's no other explanation there. I mean, we were a little bit over the curb, but that's that's not that's not going to retire the car. The engine blew up. Come on, man. There's no way. Well, things didn't really go your way. At least we're going to get our sponsor money. We're going to get the sponsor bonus. It looked like you had a few mechanical hiccups during that race. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus here. It looks like you've invested heavily in the development of new parts. <laughs> Let's, should we compliment the reliability when we, ah, I'm gonna say the arrow. Your teammate beat you today. Was it a setup issue or something else? Um I wouldn't say it's my loss, but instead their win. Can't take that away from them. Great. Well that's everything. Okay. So at least we didn't have to throw our team under the bus and we still answered two questions.
So that's good. The bad news is Yuki is absolutely kicking our butt now. The team back at the factory is going to have to completely rebuild this car. Gonna have to put all new components all over it. I, I mean, I knew we would probably have to change it in the next couple races. I didn't know we were going to start off okay and then go to completely blowing up by the end of that race there. Got our two interview questions, $187,000. Appreciate that. That's good news. Never fails, dude. Never fail. But what a weekend. Crashing in quali, blowing up in the race. One or more fitted vehicle components have excessive wear. You don't say. The control electronics is fried. The turbo is fried. The energy store is worn quite a bit. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, we need all new components. All right, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we can finish a race there and... Uh, Peace out.